what is a bit bits stands for binary digits so binary means zeros and ones so decimal means zero to nine i think you know this right hello guys yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. so binary means zero and one so how did you get this bits we will take b from binary mm. and the ideas from digits and uh, see this uh, at the physical layer binary values zeros and ones are represents data and uh, see how this binary values are represented at the physical level see we can use electrical voltage in case of copper wire so high uh, high, high voltage may represent one a lower voltage may represent zero or if you are using a fiber optic cable the presence of light is uh, one the absence of light is zero so in fiber optic cable you are using light for data so how the data is represented as ones and zeros in a carrier or medium in case of a copper media or uh, fiber optic cable so this is uh, how the data is represented wiring standards so what are wiring standards see wiring standards mainly for see, we see there are many different wiring standards but here we are going to concentrate on twisted wire cables because we, we are going to use see humne hit tula set karun de tula dusra yes frankly sorry yes do you want to say something no Okay. No sir. Okay. See this wiring standard. See, we are going to as a network engineer. Ninety percent of the time, we will be dealing with the twisted pair cables. Twisted pair cables are used in star topology in a local area network. And this cable has six wires, eight wires inside it. So. Eight wires in four pairs. So this is pair one, two, three, four, and these wires are color coded. <clears throat> so here you can see, first pair is orange, white, and orange, full orange. Then you have green, white, and full green. Brown, white, and brown, full brown. Blue, white, and full blue. See, you will not use this uh, wires anyway. You cannot use this any wires in any way you like uh, in a twisted pair cable. You need to follow some standards. So there are two standards: five six eight A standard and five six eight B standard. So in five six eight A standard, you will uh, see this is the connector that you are going to uh, connect to the twisted pair cable so you will connect the cable here and this is the connector this connector will has eight pins connecting to eight wires so the first two wires will be green pairs in 568a standard in 568b standard the first two wires will be orange pairs so you are to create these two standards you are uh, interchanging the green pair and orange pair so the in phase set a see you have orange white then blue white blue blue white then orange brown brown white so blue blue white and brown white brown these are same in both cases okay you are just changing orange orange white green green white that's it So in case of 568A, first pair is orange, green, green, white, green. In 568B, in the first case, the first pair is uh, orange, white, orange. Then, or, uh, the, in either cases, you will change the other pair around this blue, blue, white. So there are two standards. So there is a cable. This cable has two ends. So if I use same standards, 568A here, 568B. A here or five six eight B here five six eight B here. I will get a cable known as straight through cable. Yesterday we saw that, right? Hello, straight through cable. Yes, yes sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I use a different standards at both ends, like the five six eight B 
So 568A here, 568B here. I will get a cable known as for crossover cable. Straight through cables are used to connect devices of different types, like uh, switch to PC, PC to switch to router, etc. Crossover cables are used to connect same type of devices like PC to PC, uh, switch to switch, router to router, etc. So these kind of standards are also defined here in physical layer. Okay. Now next one. Topology, physical topology, whether it is best topology, star topology, all these topologies, physical topologies are also defined here in this um, physical layer. Synchronization of bits. See, where, when you hear this term, synchronization means, well, basically synchronization means happening at the same time. So, uh, there are two types of transmissions in physical air that is asynchronous and synchronous. Let us see synchronous transmission. See, the synchronous transmission is based on See, both sender and receiver will see. Okay, let us represent this reason. So this is this is one. This is sentence two. And this is sentence three. Okay. Now, see, try, see, synchronous means both the sender and receiver know at the same time when a bit starts, when a bit ends. Because in physical layer, it is all about the transmission of bits, correct? Hello? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When a bit starts, when a bit stops. So here in this text, you can see this T is starting here and this T is ending here. Correct? Hello? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in synchronous transmission, both of the sender and receiver knows at the same time when the bit starts, when the bit stops for a special character or special uh, data unit. So you cannot say it as a data unit, you can see it as bit, bit only. So in physical layer, it is also only bits, zeros and ones. So if sender is starting a zero, sender is going to send a zero, receiver also knows that okay, at the same time, sender is sending a zero. Okay, so it is happening at the same time because both sender and receiver are connected to an external clock. To the same clock, both sender and receiver are synchronized. See, when I am saying Apple now, you are also hearing it at the same time, Apple, correct? Isn't it? Hello? Yes, yes sir. sir. This is called a synchronized yes, transmission. Okay. See, if I am saying Apple now, and if you are hearing it after 10 seconds, that is asynchronous. Okay. So there is a gap, right? Isn't it? Yes, sir. 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 So this is the main difference. When I am saying Apple, you are hearing Apple at the same time. Right, that is synchronous yes, because both me, sender, and you, receiver, are knowing when some when a data begins, when a data ends. If I say Apple now, and if you are hearing it after 10 seconds, 
there is a gap. So I will say Apple, you will wait 10 seconds. So there is, it is not happening at the same time. That is called asynchronous. This is the main difference. This is the idea you must understand. Okay, clear? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. the sender, yes, sir. sender is sending a bit zero or one, and the receiver is receiving it at a later time. So the sending and receiving a bit value. This is called asynchronous transmission. Bandwidth we have already seen. Uh, like the measure of measurement of cap maximum capacity of, of a link to transmit data in a given amount of time. So per second, how much data can be sent through a media? People see we have bits, kilobits, megabits, gigabits. Right? See, normally your uh, 4G connections are measured in megabits isn't it see what is the speed of 4g connection 4g spectrum see the offering speed is 100 mbps correct hello yes, sir. isn't it yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. see in september august september uh, 5g spectrum is coming all over india did you read that news did you know that news yes, yes sir. Sir. in yes, sir. august september 5g spectrum is coming so all of you who are using this 5G points, you can get higher speed. So the minimum offering speed for 5G spectrum is 1 Gbps, 200 Gbps. What is the problem with this? Hello. What is the problem with this high speed connection? See, you need more data package, correct? Isn't it? Yes, yes, see, yes, when sir. you open a video, even if you uh, don't watch it or watch it, uh, watch it, the full video will be downloaded. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's no delay in streaming. So you open a video in YouTube at the same time, it will be downloaded. So you are you need more data package. Okay. So next, this uh, bandwidth usage can be a uh, number of bits transmitted through a medium per second. So there are two types of uh, transmission bandwidth, broadband and baseband. Broadband means, see there are multiple channels with the different speeds in a media. So uh, see you have one channel here, another channel here. This, this channel may have speed 2 Mbps. This channel may have speed uh, 10 MBPS. It is like a four way track. Okay. Hello. In a four way track, you have yes. see, 20 km hour speed, 40 km per hour speed. Correct, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. at the same yes, time, sir, yes. you can uh, travel in, the bo in both directions. Correct. Sending and receiving at the same time. Right, isn't it? But baseband is like one way. Okay. It is one way. You can only send or receive. See, only go in this direction or in this direction, not both directions, right? Like one base in your cities. Hello, no, that is a base yes, sir. Yes, sir. Base map. See, when you talk to your friend in your phone, that is base band, correct? See, when you talk, at the same time, the other person yes, cannot talk, right? Other person can talk, but you will not hear it. But, see, when you talk to your friend in your phone, at the same time, you can receive message in your WhatsApp, correct? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. That is broadband. Yes, sir. Okay. See, multiplexing, see, it is another form of broadband connection or broadband transmission, but there are different methods of doing that. So, time division multiplexing means in a media, you will create a different channels with the different time slots. Okay, so this is slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, slot 4. 
So when the system wants to send data, if this slot is free, it will send data. And after that, the system will get this slot. So there is a fixed time slot for sending data. But in uh, statistical time division multiplexing, these slots will come dynamically. See, there is a number of slots when the system wants to send data. See, if this not slot is not free, it can take this slot. That is a so dynamic means there is a pool of slots. See, what is it? Say, seat reservation, that is time division. See, there are 10 seats. One seat is assigned for a reserve for another user. Let's see, person A, person B. Right, when you reserve seat, seats, that is like statically assigning seats for, see, in a movie theater, see, suppose that, see, hello, guys, if you reserve yes, a sir. seat yes. Yes, sir. for a cinema, yes, sir. Nobody else can, no one else can take that seat, correct? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you don't reserve the seat, see, there are 100 seats, you will take a one ticket, you will take a ticket and you will get, you see, from that 100 seats, which seats are available, you will take that one, correct? That is statistical time division. So, time yes, division multiplexing means there are fixed time slots for sending data. In time division, statistical time division means there are a number of slots. Which slot is free to which uh, the system will send data. Frequency division multiplexing is same like broadband. So you are dividing the media into different channels using um, different speeds. The best example is your cable TV guys. See, when you, we use cable TVs, we are using only one cable, correct? But you are uh, getting hundreds of channels, right? Yes, one sir. Cable. Yes. How is it possible? Why don't we use 100 cables for 100 channels? Because we are dividing the channels into small units and we are sending them together, mixing, right? To the sir. same media. And your TV receiver will separate these channels according to the channel you are selecting. Okay, so that is what brought that. Okay, the devices used in this uh, um, there is hubs, wireless access points, network cabling, etc. Okay, take the screenshot for this one. Be very clear, careful. I am giving you enough time to take the screenshots. You are experiencing some network connection problem, I, so I will show you. Otherwise, please take care when you take the screenshots. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Nice. Yes, okay, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Take it, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. See, synchronization, if you read this last paragraph, you will clearly understand this. Understood? All right. Hello. Yes, sir. Data link layer is the next layer. So here you can divide the functions uh, in see this layer into two sub layers like max sub layer and LLC. So in max sub layer you have physical addressing, logical topology method of transmitting on the media. Physical addressing means MAC addressing. What is MAC address? It's a physical address or address in the NIC. Right? Oh, it is in hexadecimal format. It is 32-bit, not 32-bit, 48-bit. It is, uh, you cannot change it. 
which is provided by the manufacturer of the NIC. And uh, so all these things are done at the Mac sub layer. Logical topology means the data flow, right? Yesterday you saw it. logical topology and physical topology. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So physical topology is defined in the physical layer and logical topology is defined in the logical topology. Mm -hmm. Method of transmitting data on the media, see, this we are going to discuss in Ethernet, CSMSCD. See here, there is a chapter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't, I thought I only say uh, say media transmission method media transmission method of transmitting on the media so this csma cd we need we are going to discuss this in ethernet uh, there are two methods csma cd and token ring the logical link control this is mainly concerned about flow control and error control and synchronization so flow control means the speed control so see basically what is flow control see here you can say suppose that uh, um, say this person for example uh, who will uh, eat 20 letters per not 20 See, Anamiga can eat five letters per second. Can you, Anamiga? 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 Can you hear anyone? Yes, sir, but uh, my mic is here. No, sir, I can't. Yes, sir. So you are hearing her talking to me now. Anamiga? No, sir, I am hearing. My mic is not getting on. Now it Hello? is on. Yes, I can hear yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. See, you can eat. You are you. You have the ability to eat five letters per second. No, sir. Yeah. No. See, this is just imagination. Which I am not. Okay. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> so she can eat five letters per second. So if I give ten letters her per uh, second so she will wait waste five letters correct isn't it no guys so yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. so so we need to adjust the see either an amiga should eat 10 letters per second or i should give her five letters per second correct isn't it yes yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. so a system is sending data at 100 mbps speed another system is receiving data at 10 mbps so this system will waste 90 mbps data here because yes, it is sir. not processing this data at the same speed so either That's this system should uh, uh, reduce the speed to 10 mbps or this system should increase the speed to 10, 100 mbps this is called flow control clear everyone hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adjusting data yes. transfer speed. Next one. Yes, sir. Error, error control. Error control means see a system is sending data here. See there are different types of error control in different layers. So this says, uh, okay. Suppose that uh, uh, you are sending twenty tomatoes. Okay, twenty tomatoes. What is tomato in Hindi? Tomato. Right? Hello? Yes, tomato sir. is tomato in yes, Hindi sir. and any other languages. 20 tomatoes. And uh, see, this uh, there is an accident on the road. Uh, so there is a truck accident. Okay. Now, uh, five tomatoes fell on the road. Okay. Well, uh, five tomatoes got damaged okay so how many good tomatoes arrived here then right hello what yes see five yeah. tomatoes is missing five tomatoes reached here but it is not in good condition so these two are errors missing and damage to data understood hello 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sure. The data link layer, you will see the data, but uh, the data is uh, in not good condition. That is an error. If the data is not reached, it has not reached at the destination, that is missing error. Oh, so both uh, flow control and error control are handled here. Synchronization of transmission. See, in case of uh, physical layer, it was synchronization of the bits. In data link layer, it is synchronization of the frames. What is the difference? See, in physical layer, see, this sentence, this word starts here after this space. And this is ending here after this space. Correct? Hello. Isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But in uh, case of S, see, that is the word limit. But for sentence, this sentence is starting after this dot and it is ending with a dot, right? So this is just like a frame. See, this is just like a bit. Understood? Hello, difference? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where a frame will start, where a frame will end. The, uh, whether the starting and ending of frames happens at the same time in sender and receiver, that is synchronized transmission. Whether the starting and ending of frames happens at different times in center and receiver, that is called uh, asynchronous. Then there is isochronous, which is a combination of both the synchronous and asynchronous. So systems send blocks of data asynchronously. Means data starting and ending will be known, but at different times it means uh, say. Uh, the group of frames transmitted at different times. Okay. Asynchronous means hello. No, asynchronous means not happening at the same time. Correct. Yes, sir. Blocks means blocks means there are different frames. So you are sending different frames at different time intervals. Okay. What are the devices used here? mainly switches and bridges and NICs. Okay. So please let everyone wait for Pooja to take the first Pooja. Then she, did she go? So yes, Pooja sir. Yes. This, so take this uh, notes. Sir, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Done, sir. So, third layer is network layer. See here, logical addressing. What do you mean by this? IP addressing. So, what is IP address? You have studied this in your... Um, Network basics. What is an IP address? Anyone? What is an IP address? It's a logical uh, address for systems. Particular... It is a system. number, right? Basically, it is a yes, number. Sir. Yes, sir. IP address is a unique address. Yes, unique number given to systems to identify the systems in a network. So, this IP addressing is so there is a separate chapter, complete chapter for IP addressing. So, subnetting everything. So, we need one complete layer for IP addressing. So, maybe next, not next, this uh, Friday, we will reach at IP addressing. 
and the switching. See so this name. This is not uh, the switch we are using for creating network. See, router is doing a function called switching. This switching function is the process of taking decision about how data should be forwarded from one network to another network. So there are three types of switching: message switching, packet switching, circuit switching. So what is message switching? In message switching, the entire message will have a source address and destination address. Okay, so I will write here source and destination different color. Right, hello. See, your complete message has a source address, means a source system, and destination address for destination system, and it is sent as a single message, right? Like, like when you write a letter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You will write from right to addresses, right? Okay. In case of, uh, so this is called message switching. In message switching, uh, a complete message, data message will be sent as a single unit with a source and destination address. But in case of See, the complete message is divided into small units. Okay, hello. Hello, right. With a source and destination. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And these small units are called packets. And this uh, message is now divided into small units with a source and destination address, and they are sent to different parts. So, this is called packet switching, and this is the way internet is working using packet switching so you have a source system here you have a destination system here there are many paths between source and destination and you will divide the data into small units and uh, one packet can go through this path another packet can go through this path another packet can go through this path, path. so data is flowing through different paths Right. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the yes, basic mechanism of internet. What in what is uh, circuit switching? In circuit switching, what is happening is so this is like your old telephone network. So you have a phone at home. So you will dial to a friend. So there is a telephone see cable. It is connected to your STD, not STD, as a telephone extension, right? Not uh, extension, so exchange. And this is connected to another exchange. This is connected to another exchange. And finally, this is connected to uh, this uh, destination. So this is for source form. This is destination form. There is a physical link, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Between source and destination. Yes, sir. This is called yes, circuit switching. So there are three methods of routing uh, decisions for taking packets from source to destination and uh, route discovery and selection. Taking the best path. See, if you want to go from Mumbai to Delhi, 
you can go directly right you can go to punjab then you can go to delhi you can go to chennai kolkata then you can go to delhi which path you will select the best path right direct, direct path. path sir yeah so so selecting the best path between source and destination also happens here flow control you know already data transmission speed control packet reordering so in case of uh, packet switching you saw data is divided into small units called packets and the packets will flow from different from the source to destination through different paths and they may arrive here at the destination in different order so the destination should know how to rearrange the data into its original format for that the destination will use sequence numbers to rearrange the packets into original format okay so ip internet protocol okay so this is not so this is the examples of devices working here are routers layer 3 switches okay so take this done sir Fourth layer is that transport layer. You can see there are two important protocols: TCP and UDP. Then uh, windowing, buffering. These are all the functions of transport layer. See, I will better go back to our network commands. Okay, I will go to uh, TCP and UDP. Okay. So TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. UDP stands for User Data Gram Protocol. User Data Gram. Yes. So when a sender sends data from sender to destination, there are many functions happening at the transport layer. First function is to see this sender. This is the sending machine. This is the receiving machine. So this is the data. First, the data is divided into small units called segments. Here, see, these are segments. And uh, second function, add destination address and sequence numbers to the segments. So this is the destination, and this is the destination address, and sequence number one, two, three, four, five, six, four, nine, ten. and this uh, segments will flow through there are many paths between source and destination correct isn't it hello yes sir yes, yes sir. sir and this uh, uh, data can flow through any path between source and destination and arrive here at the destination in any order <coughs> okay. so this receiver will uh, use this sequence numbers to rearrange the packets into its correct format okay now suppose that any packet is lost any packet is lost uh, when transferring from source to destination this receiver will send see in case of tcp there is a connection between source and destination what is this connection or session means 
how this connection is made see see if we are talking about tcp so see this is uh, same for both the tcp and udp but in case of tcp before sending the data the sender will make a connection with the receiver with the three steps see first the sender will say the receiver tell the receiver see i have data to send to you so receiver will say yes i am ready to accept the data then the sender will send the data with the acknowledgement there are three steps correct mm -hmm. hello hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Three yes, sir. steps are called three way handshake and this is called a session okay so there is a connection or session between sender and receiver so if any of the data is lost on the way the receiver can tell the sender yes i have lost this data please send me that data again so there is an error control and acknowledgement in case of tcp but in case of udp there is no error control and acknowledgement so i will better take this uh, explanation i will include this here in this notes that's better that's it not coming anyway you take this hello take this <coughs> Yes, sir. So, what are the differences between TCP and UDP? You can take that also with this one, same one. TCP is connection oriented. In UDP, there is no connection. See, who is trying to log in as Vivo Y21? Hello. Who is trying to log in as Vivo Y21? Please tell me. Who is this? Who is this? Anyone? Hello. Who is this? Please tell me. I don't know, sir. I'm not asking only one particular student. If you are, I don't know, sir. Don't know, sir. So, did you take this screenshot otherwise? No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes sir. <clears throat> I will do one. Yeah. What is this page? Post it here.
Okay. Make it a sub pitch. Okay. Well, let us go back to as for so. What is TCP? What is UDP? See what is windowing. See in windowing. See what is happening. See this is for flow control. So buffering and windowing these are the flow control mechanism in transport layer. So here I need to highlight a word here. Board the size of some flow control. So what is happening here is that say so this sender will first send a data. Okay. Hello. Sender will first send yes, a data. Sir. If the receiver is sending yes, uh, the acknowledgement for this one segment, sender will now send two segments. Okay. If the receiver is send, uh, sending an acknowledgement, the sender will send four segments. So each time it will increase the segment number. Uh, so suppose that uh, if the receiver is uh, not sending the acknowledgement for uh, four segments, so it will adjust uh, the speed to two segments. Understood? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, so buffering what is buffering see the best way to understand buffering is like this see you are going to delhi see you are going to delhi from mumbai to in a train so you reached at the railway station there is a train here this train is full okay this train is full you don't have enough space to stand here so what you will do you will wait here in the waiting room right hello guys isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir until the next train comes so a system wants to send data the uh, link between source and destination is very busy so the source will do what it will store the data into a temporary memory for a short period of time when this link becomes a little bit less busy, the source can send the data to the destination. Clear? So that temporary yes, storage is called buffering or uh, buffer and that uh, this process is called buffering. So storing the data in a temporary storage area, if the link is very busy for a short period of time, is called buffering. What is ports? What are ports? Another very, very important concept. And again, I have to go back to this networking basics. See, if you have studied this in NA networking, it would have been very easy. Let me copy this, paste this here. See, this is your phone. Hello, guys. Please listen to me carefully. This is the most important thing you need to understand in a network communication. This is your smartphone. This is your friend's smartphone. Okay. Hello. Hello, guys. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This is your phone. Yes, sir. This is your friend's smartphone. You are talking to your friend in WhatsApp. 
you are talking to your friend in Facebook. So data will generate from WhatsApp. It will go to the friend's phone. It should go to WhatsApp, right? Not to Facebook. Correct. Yes, yes, sir. yes. Sir. Data from Facebook should go to Facebook only, right? Not to WhatsApp. Yes, sir. How this system yes, will identify the correct application to which data should be sent? This is so. Uh, applications should also use an address, correct? Hello. Yes. yes sir. Addresses yes, sir. used by application is called a port number. So, what is a port number? Port number is a number used as an address for an application. See, for system, you have MAC address, correct? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. For network, yes, sir. you have IP address, right? Yes, sir. Hello. And yes. for yes, sir. applications, yes, sir. you have port number. So, in a network communication, three addresses are involved. What are they? Port number. Mac address. Mac address and IP address. Okay, take uh, sliding into protocol. This is an assignment for you. You have to do this. Read it and explain if this in class tomorrow. So please take the screenshot for this chapter. Answer. Giving you the notes, but you have to do the assignment. Find it. What is sliding windows? Session layer. Next slide. See, session means connection, basically. Connection between applications, not between networks, not between systems. Hello. Okay. Yes, See, here I want to write something. Say in a network communication between two systems. In a network communication, uh, there are three types of connections. Right? What are the first one? A connection between networks, a connection between systems. Right, isn't it? Hello? Hello? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Applications. Okay. Okay. Connection. Connection. The connection between applications between. are called sessions. Clear everyone what is session? Okay. Hello. Yes, yes sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Connection should be opened, right, maintained, and closed, right. Hello. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The connection. Between applications should be open before communication. <laughs> Main end. Or continue during communication, right? And close, right? After communication, right? Hello, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Vivo Y21. What is your name? Vivo. Who is this? Uh, Sneha from Sangli. Who is that? Sneha Langir. Send me a message. Who are you? Okay, sir. Who, what is your name? Snehal Ahir. Snehal. Okay. Why are you? Say why? Oh, say you. Snehal, please you are, use your real name, Snehal. Really sorry, I could not understand. See, this is the problem. You don't use your real name. Okay, it's my hand. Okay, sir.
Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, just like this is a class, uh, this class started at the, so I will leave that uh, extra note here. So take this uh, notes, otherwise, Okay, sir. Okay, sir. See, when you send an email, first you will log into the email server, right? Hello? Yes, sir. So, yes, when you sir. log into yes, the email server, you are opening a session with the email server. When you send and receive email, you are uh, continuing the session, right? Or maintaining the session. Yes, sir. When you log out of, from the email server, you are closing the session. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So these are, this is not correct. Presentation layer, the formatting of data exchanged and securing the data with the encryption. See, data formatting is the process of changing data from one format to another format. So why do we need that? So again, let us see an example. In a network, you have different systems with a different platform. Correct? You see, in a network, you have a Windows system, you have Android system, right? Mac system, correct? Hello? Yes, yes sir. Yes sir. yes, sir. The data format used yes. in Windows system is different uh, from the data format used in Android system. Correct, isn't it? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you send a text message from Windows system to Android system, the Android system will be able to accept it. How is that possible? And open it. See. The presentation layer in Windows system will transmit this into a zeros and ones, a universal format that is understood by all the electronic devices. The presentation layer in uh, an Android system will convert that into Android format. Just like a French person national is talking to a Chinese national. So he will talk in French. The presentation layer in French per, uh, national will convert that into English, a universal language. The presentation layer in uh, Chinese national will convert that into Chinese. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, can you please repeat this? Who asked this question? Sir Shantanu. Shantanu, what is formatting? Sir, formatting is the changing the data format from one format to another format. Yes. Why are we doing that? Sir, because sometimes it is necessary. Uh, one computer may have another operating system and another one may have another operating system. Yes. Sir, just that beach mein jo aapne graphical representation so that was my voice cut over you see you have clearly understood the concept Chandana. okay 
what you have understood is perfectly all right there is no nothing to uh, explain more okay shantanu okay sir so, so what you have understood is 100% correct okay okay now encryption okay uh, so you may be asking about this example right okay shantanu so you may be asking about this example see yes this sir second. see this is a french national he will speak french correct shantanu okay sir so when uh, he is talking to a chinese person chinese national so suppose say the presentation layer is like this this presentation layer will convert this uh, french into english see english is a common language correct yes sir okay the presentation layer in chinese national will convert this english into chinese this is the same way so here windows format is converted into 0 and 1 that is universal electronic format digital format that is converted by the presentation layer in uh android system to android format clear okay, okay. sir okay. encryption this is for security so why do we need security because uh, suppose that nowadays everything is done online correct see if you want to transfer any money everything see log into your bank account so you will send your username and password over the internet connection so a hacker who is hacking your system can uh hack into your account and make changes see nowadays they are using this uh, uh, secure device connection because you are getting an otp before uh, get, getting connected correct isn't it hello guys yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir yes sir see earlier there was yes, a username and password only but nowadays suppose that you are entering username and password to enter into your uh, bank account first you will receive an otp right so if yes, you sir. enter that you see yes. if you are smart enough if you are smart enough see when you connect when you send the username and password itself from that information itself the hacker can guess your phone number right isn't it see yes sir yes see and they uh, say you receive a message into your phone so the hacker can monitor to which phone number the message is going see i should not discuss the, this here in uh, openly in this class because every traffic is monitored see if i am saying this here cyber cell may be monitoring me now hello hello guys yes sir yes sir you know, have you have you seen this movie see i will show you see as see as it professionals this is actually an action movie but uh, uh, see the burn series have you seen this yes sir burn series sir. this is an awesome series sir see uh, see the, the bond legacy, thing yes. is say uh, in this is uh, the thing is you must understand how much it information technology has uh say developed now see even when i talk uh if i say a word using that word if they say see this uh, cyber security people are always monitoring all kind of language uh, communication so if a word pops up like uh, say so if i am saying uh, anamiga so there may be thousands of hackers monitoring for this word okay anamiga your fans online mm, yeah. okay <laughs> okay <laughs> hello see don't worry nobody is monitoring your name so okay. immediately they can locate my location right see from where i am uh using my computer at which house 
which street, which house, which room, which seat, everything is located. Isn't it? Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is what uh, you must understand from this. See, this is an action movie, but the technology used in this action movie is excellent. See, it was uh, see uh, around uh, t- t- twenty years back. No, not twenty years. Ten. Okay. Yes, around the twenty years, like fifteen years back. Correct. Hello. Yes, sir. Fifteen years back, their technology yes, was like that. Now suppose that what would be their technology, right? See, fifteen years back, the technology has uh, had uh, developed that much. So when you watch these movies, see there are so many action, thrilling, and uh, emotional scenes, and everything are there. But the technical methods, especially in this uh, second and third one, second, third, and fourth one. Clear. Hello, guys. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, in the first movie, there is not Hello? much technology used, ah. but in but in uh, this one, when ultimate. Ban Ultimatum, I would say Ban Ultimatum. This one, 2007 movie, and this one. Technology you can see use of uh, the technology use at its maximum. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now see, so it is possible to uh, for hackers anything is possible. So. What you will do? This encryption is the process of converting a readable text into an unreadable format. Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, so suppose that you are sending a text, or suppose that uh, Deepika is uh, sending a text to her friend. So Deepika is this is Deepika, and her friend is Pallavi, right? Deepika and Pallavi. Hello. Right. Um, Deepika from Hyderabad, Pallavi yes, from. Uh, so Deepika is sending a text. So what text Deepika is sending? Handsome boy. Okay, handsome boy. Sir, first, so, sir, first one is name. Okay. Handsome boy. So handsome boy. <laughs> this is the text. So her parents is monitoring. The, her parents are monitoring this. So before and sending, is uh, parents will ask. So she will convert this handsome boy into something like this. Why you be job and uh, so her parents will ask, what is this? My friend Pallavi has headache. This is a medicine. So her parents are happy. Oh, my daughter is very kind, right? Human being, correct? Deepika, isn't it? Hello. Yes, Are you, sir. It? Yes. And uh, when Pallavi's parents receive uh, this, they also will ask uh, my dear, dear uh, daughter, what is this uh, message sent by Deepika? So her, uh, she will say. Uh, see, uh, I, she may be sending uh, the medicines for her day. Right, Pallavi? Pallavi Nagpur. Right? Yes, sir. Actually, we only know this is handsome boy, correct? So both her, uh, 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 both uh, Deepika and Pallavi's parents did not know. But actual people, so when she receives it, she will decrypt it. So, okay, into original text. So the, anyway, the moral of the story is that it is to change a readable text into unreadable text so that even if the hacker hacks the data, he will not make any sense out of it. So. Next is application layer. See, in application layer, see, this is also very interesting. So. Uh, See, in your smartphone, there are two types of applications. What are they? See, you have Facebook, WhatsApp, you have Notepad, Picture Weaver, right? 
Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without yes, sir. network yes, connection, without network services, these two applications are useless, right? But without network connection, without network services, these two applications can be used. So, who will provide the network services and network uh, uh, connection to this uh, network applications? application layer so what is the function of uh, application layer provide network services to network applications for example in your system you have ms office word see earlier in ms office word you did not have any network services enabled but now you have this share function correct hello hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Sharing yes, sir. means you are sharing this word document over the network to some other person. So when you click that, you have to connect, save to cloud. So, uh, so this is an application. MS Office is an application. It is not application layer. Application layer is providing this service to this MS Office word. Understood? Hello, yes, there sir. everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Application yes, sir. Yes, sir. layer is not application. Layer is not application. Let's see, application is not application layer. Application layer is a layer in OSI model which provides network services to network applications. That's it. Okay. Did you take screenshot for uh, presentation layer? No. Take it. No, sir. Take the presentation this one. Done, sir. The next one is TCP IP model. See, if you have understood OSI model, this is very, very easy. Because, see, both have the same functions. The only difference is there in uh, their uh, number of layers. See, in OSI model, there are seven layers. The first three layers are combined and called application layer and TCP IP model. And uh, Transport layer is transport layer itself. Network layer is called internet layer. Data link and the physical layers are combined and called network interface layer. Okay. Now, see, in case of uh, OSI model, we did not discuss any protocols, but there are many protocols that are involved in different layers. So we are going to see the important protocols that is useful for us to understand networking. So Telnet is a protocol that is used to uh, remotely manage <coughs> a system, but it is not secure. SSH is a protocol used to remotely manage a system with encryption that is secure. Okay, when we used PuTTY to connect to Linux from Windows, we were using SSH. Do you remember? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In yes. our Linux class, we connected from Windows system to Linux Linux system using PuTTY. PuTTY was using SSH. Okay. Understood, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. No, FTP is a tra file transfer protocol and it is an application also. So, transfer files between systems in the network. See, as an application, you have directory functions list directory add directory delete directory etc as a protocol it will just transfer files between systems tftp is a lightweight version of ftp so it can just transfer files that's it it cannot uh, uh, list a directory um, it cannot uh, add a directory so all those functions directory related functions are not available in tftp you have just transfer function SNMP symbol network management protocol so this will collect network information information about the devices in the network and based on that information you can see the status of the devices and manage the devices from a remote location HTTP this is a protocol for transferring web pages between a web client and a web server so when we you when we open www.google.com in a browser Browser is a web client and uh, Google is a web server. 
and the google is transferring google.com home page to your browser in your uh, system https is the secure version of http ntp network time pro time protocol this is the um, pro uh, protocol that will make synchronization possible between with, with different systems in a network so all the systems in a network can use the same clock using this protocol to receive the correct time from a, an external central external clock dns host name so uh, so you have two addresses in your uh, network for systems for uh, one is ip address number address another is domain yeah. names domain names Th these are user friendly names but ip addresses are just numbers but as human beings we cannot remember many ip addresses but we can remember domain names easily so for system convenience we are using ip addresses for user convenience we are using uh, domain names so when the systems are using two names two types of names there should be a system or mechanism a protocol to transfer from a number to name and name to number that is the function of dns it transfer translate ip addresses to domain names and domain names to ip addresses so when we type www.google.com in a browser browser is uh, or our system is conducting a dns server for the ip address for that name and actual communication between systems happens using the ip addresses dhcp very very see these two are very very important so automatically assign ip addresses to hosts in a system so there are two ways to assign ip addresses to hosts in a system so you can use static ip addressing that you means you can manually modify the ip address of a system but uh, another method is automatically assigned so your system will be start it will start in a system it will contact a dhcp server and it will get the ip address from the dhcp server apipa when dhcp is not working system will get an ip address from this range so you must by heart this range so if you see a range ip address in this range for your system that you can understand dhcp server in your network is not working so tcp and uh, udp see transmission control protocol we have explained it in detail in our um, uh, osi model see internet layer protocol so this is ip internet protocol so in the, this is a router protocol this is the protocol used for transferring data from one system to another system in another network and uh, see there is a one very important protocol icmp see this is a diagnostic protocol so when we use to ping ping command is used to check the connection between two systems in a network and it uses this icmp reply messages right reply from uh, another system found request time out so all these replies are provided by this icmp understood hello guys hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. address resolution protocol so this is a protocol used to find out the mac address of a system using ip address so when two systems communicate see we human beings use ip addresses right for systems correct so we are using the ip address of yes, the systems to communicate with this system but this system needs actual mac address of this system from this mac ad ip address he want uh, this system wants to find out the mac address of the system for that there is a protocol called mac arp address resolution protocol okay so take the notes for so tomorrow so please read this osi model and this protocol and see this chapter very well because we are going to do see practical for all these protocols using packet tracer tomorrow so when i do that don't open your mouth and look at the sky happening i am uh, seeing this for the first time okay don't sit like that okay hello guys yes sir yes hello. sir yes sir. yes sir so please read these chapters and come prepared to do the practicals tomorrow so today i am going to do some practicals today and uh, now with uh, the so i had left some practicals yesterday and it is very important to understand our next topic that is ethernet to go up. 
समय you are doing sir, the same thing point. again and again and again and again see one or two times i can understand sir, this sir but you are doing the same no thing sir, sir you are speaking at that time so done sir <laughs> done sir done sir done sir done sir done sir done sir okay let us open packet tracer say when before you do the practical you will uh, write the a so what is the a create a network with uh, four pieces and one switch then we will use the router and uh, servers in the upcoming module you must wait yes sir okay so we had a network with four pieces and one switch the procedure you know yesterday i have written right hello how to create yes sir 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 So I will just leave it. Then testing. See test and communication from one PC to another PC. First test communication from two PCs. at the same time okay hello hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. so what we are going to do is you are going to create a network like this so there is a switch and uh, uh, there are four systems and uh, one <coughs> two three four you are connecting all these systems to the uh, switch switch and you are naming this uh, so pc this is pc pc1 pc2 pc3 pc4 okay pc1 pc pc3 pc 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 this is this is switch and this system has an ip address 10.0.0.1 the system has an ip address 10.0.0.2 this uh, 10.0.0.3 3 c 
First, we will check the communication from this system to this system. Only one system is communicating, say, like this. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. How it will behave, let us see. Next, we will see the communication from this system to this system. And from this system to this system at the same time, right? Isn't it? Okay. okay. Yes, sir. So yes, let us, let us uh, see this. Okay, first let us create the network. So I am going to first uh, design the network. So we need four PCs. So uh, yes, end devices, PC, PC, click on the work area. End devices, PC, click on the work area. End devices, PC, click on the work area. And the devices, PC, click on the work area, four PCs. We need one switch. So that is network device. Network devices, switches, click on 2960, click on the work area. So you have all the devices here, right? Now you need yes. connections between these two, uh, all yes, the PCs oh, and the switch. So we will click on connections straight through, click on PC zero, select fast Ethernet zero, click mm -hmm. on switch, Select fast Ethernet 01. Repeat the steps for other PCs. Click on connections, click on fast Ethernet, click on PC1, fast Ethernet 0, switch fast Ethernet 02. Yep. Connections is straight through, click on PC0, fast Ethernet 0, uh, 01, click on switch fast Ethernet 0. Yep. Same steps here also. Now, set the IP addresses. So, click on PC, go to desktop tab, click on IP configuration, type IP address, then subnet mask area. So, it will get the subnet mask. Click on PC1, go to desktop tab, IP configuration. Click on PC2, desktop. IP configuration. Desktop IP configuration. IP configuration. Okay. Now this system can first testing. Uh, I am pinging from pinging from this system to this system. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sir. So ping 10 dot zero dot zero dot one two. Okay, let us see the simulation. Okay. So click on simulation, click on uh, edit filters, go to miscellaneous. Don't try to remember these steps. I am going to do these steps many times. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. So you will uh, see and learn, see and remember. So NTP, STP, RTP, I don't want. Now, see, I am clicking on this PDU protocol data unit. Click on this uh, system, click on this system. If this system is sending signal to this system. So when I click this button, the data will flow to this switch. And from this switch, Oh, see, I need to replace this switch. I'm going to replace this with a hub. We need to see pollution of the PT hub. Okay. I'll connect the system. This is down. So this is a star topology, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In earlier star topology, we were using a device called hub, not switch. So just came later. Okay. Now.
This wait for others. I don't know. They may have been might have been sleeping. So tomorrow we have to do a lot of practicals. Okay. So don't be upset. Okay. Tomorrow you will see. I am doing these practicals. Yes, sir. You will see how different things are working. Second thing, you will get familiar with the, the packet tracer. So when you use packet tracer, you don't should uh, you should not thinking. Okay, where should I click for this? Where should I click for that? No. Automatically, packet tracer should be working. So. See, Sachin Tendulkar is a very good batsman, correct? Send it. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. So, when he is batting, if we must think, okay, where should I hold? Okay, bat. How should I stand? Should he, st can he think like that? No, right? He should be ready with all these things, correct? Then yes, only he yes. can play the best shot. <clears throat> If he thinks, okay, uh, okay, I should uh, uh, hold the bat in the middle part. There is a, a handle. How how should I keep my hand? How should I keep my right right arm? How should I keep my my left arm? So if you if he thinks like that, he cannot do batting. Correct, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So, see, this is the difference between professional and amateur. So, when professional people are perfecting what they are. Okay, let us see. Uh, so, when this uh, system is sending, it will go to the hub. And from the hub, the data will go to this system, this system, and this system. Because the hub is not using any kind of addresses. It yes. is just broadcasting one to all. Because the hub does not know which is the destination system, the data will go to all the systems. Okay, so the hub is receiving the data from here. It is going to all the devices, but these two devices will discard it, right? Why is it? Because it is not for these two systems, correct? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. Uh, this system did not discard it. It received it. See now. See the. Again, the data is going from here to here. Hub will uh, again broadcast, and uh, these two systems will discard, discard. And this system received it. Correct. Hello. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let us see. See, this system is sending data to this system, and at the same time, this system is sending data to this system. So, okay. from here to here, and from here to here. Okay. So what will happen now? So both systems will send the data at the same time, and what is happening? Data is burning, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Data got destroyed. This is called a collision. Hello. Collision. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. This is called, uh, in case of uh, normal, uh, in our day-to-day -day life, we call it as a an accident. Collision, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An accident. So that I got lost. So this is the problem uh, in hub network. Why this is happening? Because all the systems have equal rights. That is why. So to avoid this, we introduced 
Okay, so I am going to remove these two links. I'm going to remove this, remove this. and I'm going to add one more hub. I'm going to connect these two systems. And connect these two systems. But I need a link between them, right? Hello. Hello, guys. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If I use this cable here, what will happen? It is the same like one single hub. So I will use another device here called the bridge. Okay. So where is it? So let us use this bridge here. And I will connect these devices okay, using a crossover cable. <laughs> it would take some time to uh, this uh, links to become active. Okay, this link is up now. Okay, now from this link. See, this should become green. Then only we can test the connection. This is also great. See now, if I send data from this system to this system, let us try all combinations. Okay, from here to here, it is going there, going there, going. coming back here. Delete this. I am <coughs> checking this communication also. Okay. So now let us try to communicate from this system to this system and this system to this system.
See, now two systems can communicate at the same time, right? Isn't it? Hello? Yes, Hello? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this bridge is not forwarding the data from this system to here. This bridge is not forwarding the data from here to here. So it is dividing the network based on MAC addresses. So we will discuss. So uh, bridges are used to segment your networks based on MAC addresses so that at least two systems can communicate at the same time in the network. See, hubs were not allowing this. See, if two systems are communicating at the same time in a hub network, there will be a collision data will be lost but you want at least two systems to communicate at the same time that is what happening here you can see now these two systems can communicate at the same time because the bridge has divided the network uh, into two uh, units Let's divide this once again So, did how many of you tried a packet tracer? Okay, hello guys. See you tomorrow. So, please uh, read the notes. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tomorrow we have to yes, do sir. a lot of practicals. Yes, please read the notes. Please read OSI model protocols. Everything.